Oh boy, she thick. Wow, what a cute drawing. You know, you know what would make this even cuter if he had a nose? <laughs> I would make grandma a little bit more wrinkly because it seems like she's too soft, too squishy, too juicy. She's looking too desirable. She's looking like a goof. All right, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be roasting more of your guys' art. So as always, I went on Instagram. I asked you guys to put your work into the hashtag SamRoastMe16. We're on number 16. And we have 12.1 thousand posts. It seems like you guys just don't wanna be happy and that works for me. Let's inflict some emotional damage and end some careers today. And this video is brought to you by Squarespace. But the pain is brought by me. Oh my goodness. That is a gorgeous render of a big toe. Ooh. Okay, this is a sick style because it looks just like my style, but you know what? You could use a little bit more confidence. What, what is this? This hatching rake brush I use to accentuate what's already there. The strokes should be powerful, not wishy-washy. Try to use it with confidence, yeah? You're using it with insecurity right now. Wow, what a cute drawing. You know, you know what would make this even cuter if he had a nose? <laughs> Guys, this is a sick portrait study and this is number 1,843. How many of these have you been doing? <laughs> That's crazy. You're telling me you've drawn 1,800 of these and you're still only at this level? I'm just playing, this is fantastic. It does kind of look like Colleen, if she were cool. Listen here, Sam, those parts. You think you can roast me and get away with it? No freaking way. Oh my God. Bro has no saturation. I swear I've seen this post in every single hashtag I've put up before and I'm pretty sure I've talked about it already. When are you gonna stop putting this into my hashtags? Look, if you don't quit it right now, you see this, you see this dumpling? That's about to be my fist in your mouth. Oh my God, looks cute. It's a rough of Sam's favorite OC, Kara. I don't play favorites but she, she is my favorite. His is clearly better, but just to, not, you know what? You shouldn't say that, okay? You shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Art is subjective. I personally think yours is better. Better at looking goofy. Bro, are you eating Totoro? Why you do that? Yo, 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 pause. What's going on here? Calm down. See, I'm gonna bring it out again. See this? See how this works is you take your hand and you, you put it on and you, <laughs> Okay, but guys, real talk, how many of you guys have had this snack right here? Because this is god tier. This is like my whole childhood. We were just eating these things, man. It was so good. Not in the sus way that she's doing it, but like we we ate these. these. <laughs> and somebody tell me why the nose ends and the mouth starts right after the nose. Do you see people walking around like... Mm -hmm. Here's a quick tip. When you're looking at facial features, there's a distance between the bottom of your nose and the bottom of your chin and in between that is your mouth it sits just above the halfway point between these two points okay good don't make this mistake again Ooh, her nose <laughs> it's kind of i would honestly recommend you flip the canvas around because there is a big perspective issue where the eye that's closer to us looks like it's taking up the entire side of her face it's going all the way to the side and as a result her nose looks like it's been like just pushed all the way to the other side, okay? So flip your canvas. You'll see all of your glaring mistakes. And then you realize art is not for you. Should have been a lawyer or a doctor. Oh no, bro's crying. <laughs> but I can't tell if he's crying or if these are tumors on his face, bro. <laughs> you gotta add some water texture to the tears because they look like skin tags right now. Oh, oh my God. You you signed this too? Oh bro, you blink twice if you need help. You know what, don't even bother blinking. You, you need help, seek help. What? in the world bro what what demonic force compelled you to create this image oh you know earlier i was very pissed about ai trying to copy the art style of individual artists and trying to take the unique style that belongs to these artists and i was like not having any of that but seeing stuff like this man it just makes me realize hey maybe with ai when there's no more artists in the world we won't have to endure stuff like this anymore maybe they're not so bad speaking of ai though we're gonna make a video on that bs you guys stay tuned we're gonna enough is enough wow beautiful colors guys take note of the light coming from the right side and the bounce light coming from the table you see that on the clothing wrinkles that's so good but girl needs to get a new phone man what is this the iphone one what is that we're already on number 14 get with the program sheesh <laughs> my favorite piece so far no reference was used i can tell okay look if this is your favorite piece i'm really really sorry but the face is coming too far out to the side. It looks like there's a gravitational force pulling her face away from her head. Do you see this? What you gotta do is you gotta take a liquify tool, take her whole face and shove it back. Okay, move it back in the direction of her head. 
because it's coming out. And of course, your username is trippyhead999. You, you, she, <laughs> you're clearly tripping. Oh my God. Okay, so this is a, uh... okay. So look, she looked fine. Uh, okay, she didn't look fine. She, she looked, <laughs> the coloring was okay uh, at this stage because you have flat colors that represent different areas of the body. But as soon as you got into rendering, now it looks like she got beat up. This is because you don't have a consistent light source. So when you apply the darks, they look like they're not where they're supposed to be. And as a result, she looks like she's got a black eye. You know what guys, this is what we're gonna do to them. The stupid AI people. I'm just kidding, by the way, we should promote world peace and all try to get along. But We'll talk more about it in the future. Yeah, we'll, we'll make a video on that. Just you wait. Hold up. Already, I just posted this last week and I already got, it's looking like really awfully similar, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say, if you didn't trace this, good job. Oh, dude. Yo, that's sick. I know this guy. I love his work. It looks just like his work. This is really good. Oh my goodness. You killed it. Oh, <laughs> Okay, what's this, huh? What's that? Explain yourself. Okay, I think side profiles are my favorite thing to draw. No, I don't think so. I think your favorite thing to draw is the neck. I mean, unless your OC actually has a long neck like this, then I would understand. But um, from these pictures, it doesn't look like she, oh yeah, oh my God. Oh, I don't know. Maybe you did model this character off of Master Wugwe. I don't know. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Hey, oh, hey, hey sauce hmm okay so um <laughs> natural is beautiful okay so i'm assuming your character doesn't have any makeup that's why i can't see her eyes look when a person closes their eyes you're still going to be able to see a bit of their eyelashes okay so i would make that line a little bit more defined so that it doesn't look like your character is missing their eyes here's one the second will be posted in a bit oh man i mean the anatomy is good but um we I have like three of these at home if you guys want one. I'm, I'm just saying, some of y'all need it. This is beautiful stylization. Very, very good. Looks just like how I would do it. And check out the name on this account, Tram Does Arts. I'm building an army of loyal disciples. <laughs> and one day I will unleash them onto this world. I always like to talk about, you know, including the big round cranium that is in your character's head. So it's been a while, but here, is the skull of my enemy. Now looking at the skull, when you're viewing a character's face from a three quarters angle, something like this, the back of the head does not stick out nearly as much as it does here, even if your hair has a lot of volume. If you're viewing the head from the side, maybe that'll happen. But from a three quarters view, you can see it doesn't look like that. So take your cranium, shove it back in a bit. The character's head is way too big. It's way good. It's going to be too heavy for her to carry on her shoulders. Just like this burden of me carrying all of you guys with my art tips and advice, huh? And my entertainment should be thankful. Hold up, dude. Why is he doing this? Why, why is he sucking on noodles and looking up like that? This is making me uncomfortable. Stop looking. Stop. This should be like an unspoken rule. Do not make eye contact with me while you're slurping on your noodles. I don't want to. <laughs> look, you do you. You do what you like in your free time, but I don't swing that way. Don't look at me like that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, so the issue here is, again, I feel like you guys just need to flip your canvas horizontally to spot all of these mistakes, but the eyes are simply not aligned. Now, there are people who just grow differently, okay? But I don't think that's what you were trying to go for here because the entire face is like very shifted towards one side. It's like the head is tilted this way, but the facial features are more aligned straight down. And can somebody tell me her neck workout routine, bro? She out here looking like the rock. Oh my God. Oh, what the? Ew. Oh, that's so cute. Where did you find this picture? I want to do a study of this too. That's so cute. Look at that little face. Look at the little face. Look, look, look. Oh no. I love this new style. This can't, you, you're not serious about this, are you? Let me see this. Oh no, you're serious. Okay. Um. Now this looks like it's been done in Microsoft Paint. If, if you did do it in Microsoft Paint, that's okay. But like, at least try to give me a higher resolution image because I want to be able to appreciate her horrendous face in HD. Oops, dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I can't with you guys. You guys need to stop. You know what? This, this is gonna be a permanent prop 
in my roast videos now because you guys just can't seem to stop. God, talk to a woman. Good painting with good values, very muted colors, but you know, you've got a very distinct painterly kind of traditional looking style, which is good. The only thing I'd change is she's kind of looking in two different directions, okay? She's looking off to two sides, like a chameleon. And this is an easy fix. You can just take your liquify tool, move the eyeballs back in a little bit and unchameleonize her. Okay, so this is the second drawing that guy was talking about. Okay, I see. Squish, squish. Hey, am I getting fat? I just need a little bit of exercise. Wow, you got a whole story to go with this. Okay, grass guys. Grass, grass is a thing. Guys, look at this. What a beautifully stylized portrait. Really nice, simple rendering. That's exactly what I like to see. Great stylization and shape language in the face. Good flow in the eyes and the eyebrows and the hair. Looks good. And then you, you, oh, oh hold up. She looks so concerned. <laughs> this is me looking at your guys' work. Oh, oh dear, oh. Two hour study, okay. There's something kind of off about the placement of the two eyes. The eye in the back looks like it's way too high up for the perspective that you're viewing this character at. That was point number one. Point number two, her head is placed a little bit too far back on the neck. It seems like she's cranking it back. It's as though somebody let a big one rip right in front of her and it's just like, and she's like, ooh. Oh my God, what is this? Look at those floor grippers. Ah, I have finally learned how to paint, oh. Blink twice if you need help. This is amazing. Look at the sadness in his eyes. He wishes you had never learned how to paint. <laughs> Jesus Christ, somebody come collect their grandma. She's looking smooth. What's grandma's skincare routine? That's kind of crazy. If I were to give you an actual piece of advice, I would make grandma a little bit more wrinkly because it seems like she's too soft, too squishy, too juicy. She's looking too desirable. She's looking like a goof. And speaking of Grant, you know what? This this is too soon. Thank you for your service, Queen. Mohammed Mohammed, Sam does arts fix my ugly art. Your anatomy looks fantastic. Bro's got huge legs, but um <laughs> that's that's not very impressive. Be better than this. Portrait study with my OC using Sam Yang's art style. Okay, um you uh, <laughs> Thanks. I didn't know I drew like this, but you know what? I, I appreciate it. So there's one glaring mistake here. I don't know if your OC is supposed to be like a big bodybuilder, but she is looking like her torso is huge. Like, man, she's looking like she could bench 400 pounds, right? And look at the size of this hand. It's massive. You know what, guys? I always like to do this thing. Let's do this experiment together. Take your hand, place it over the character's head. Make sure that you're covering the entire head of this character. Now I want you to use your imagination and picture where the head is, how big it is, what it looks like on this character, okay? So now we're gonna take our hand away in three, two, one. It's tiny. It's so small. It's smaller than the possibility of you becoming successful in the future. Anyways, other than that, good job. And speaking of heads that are too small, check this one out. This guy's looking like the uh, Colossal Titan. Oh boy, she thick. She's super thick, but why does her face look like a shrimp? Okay, you know what guys, we're gonna end off on a really wholesome note here. Check out this pixel art of a good boy. A very good boy, huh? He's got a frog costume. <laughs> How cute is that? If only all of the art that I saw today was like this, then I wouldn't have taken like five years off of my life. Okay, and curiosity just got the best of me and I kept scrolling for a bit, but I wish I had. This is your new alien OC, Yesair. Oh, why he kind of... That was pretty good. That just took another like eight years off of my lifespan, but the things I do for you guys. I also want to mention this video sponsor, Squarespace. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform on which to create their website. You can use Squarespace to connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. Manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one easy to use platform. You're able to create a community on your Squarespace website with a fully integrated commenting system. There are powerful blogging tools to categorize, share and schedule your posts too. Extend Squarespace's already powerful e-commerce capabilities with Squarespace extensions. These new third-party tools can help you manage inventory, promote products, streamline bookkeeping, 
shipping, reconcile and file sales tax, and ship items across the globe. You can also display posts from your social profiles directly on your website. Go to squarespace.com right now for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash samdesart and you'll save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. So that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this roast video. I hope you guys were entertained or maybe learned something new. And please feel free to subscribe to my channel for more art content just like this. With that being said though, thank you for being here and I appreciate you watching all the way to the end. You're helping me feed my village and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Can we do some grass ASMR? See so guys, this is what it's like to touch grass. Can we do some skull ASMR? Ooh. Ooh. I just, I don't know what I did, but I just gave him a crazy underbite. Look at that. This is my first time shooting at night, guys. It's like fully dark out, but I have a light set up. I no longer have to rely on natural light. This is good. I can be a menace at all hours of the day now.